As a full-time documentary filmmaker, I spend a lot of time making sure that my camera rig can capture any part of a story I might need. Over the past year, my rig has evolved a lot, but it's now at a point that I'm super happy with. The Canon C200 is my camera of choice, and it's been rock solid and handled everything I've thrown at it so far. I have three rules for my camera rig. It has to fit in a Pelican 1510 flight case, since I fly to every shoot and I refuse to put my camera and lenses under the plane. I also want to be able to build the rig without using any tools. And it needs to be as flexible as possible to fit my operating style on any particular shoot. Here are some of the parts that work for me. The core is a shaped camera cage on top of a Tilta VCT base plate. Off to the right side is a Tilta extendable rosette arm that relocates the camera grip to a comfortable position. On top of the cage is a small rig handle attached on a NATO rail. The handle is adjustable which allows me to balance the easy rig and it also has plenty of mounting points for accessories. I've recently added a new monitor mount method to my arsenal. It's based on an XL NATO rail from wooden camera and a pan tilt monitor mount from small rig. I machine down a 15mm rod and have a rod clamp on the front of my cage to secure it. This gives me plenty of room to see the monitor while on a shoulder rig without feeling too much discomfort. For monitors, I rotate between the small HD 702 Bright, the small HD Focus, and the C200 touchscreen, depending on what's right for the job. My go-to audio setup is a Rode NTG3 and a shock mount on the side of the camera cage, and I also have room on the handle to add a wireless receiver for a lav. I use earbuds to monitor audio since they take up almost no room in my case, and I prefer them for isolating background noise. Powering the whole rig is these SWIT batteries that mount directly to the C200. Now, I'm typically exclusively a Canon brand battery user, but these batteries offer a D-tap out that I can use to power both the monitor and the camera, which is incredibly convenient and saves weight. I have been exploring using these little V-mount batteries, especially on long interview days, to give me a little extra battery life, and because they also balance really nicely on the shoulder. However, the drawback is, is that they are hard to squeeze into my camera case. The tiniest part on this rig is this little cable clamp that I pulled off of my old A7S cage. This is essential for keeping wires out of the shot when I'm running around and swapping lenses. The lens on here right now is the Canon 24-105 Mark II. This is my workhorse for documentary shoots, but it's definitely not the only lens in my kit. I've been shooting almost all my interviews on this Canon 35mm with image stabilization recently. And of course, there's always plenty of use for the Canon 24-70 and 70-200. There you have it. This is my fully dialed Canon C200 documentary rig that's ready for anything. I'm ready for anything too, so if you want to connect for your next documentary project, let me know. All right, Drew, do your magic.